T-shirt check. Y'all, I just, I just realized I didn't even have the mic on. So I'm going to have to voice over that. It's your girl, Sin, back with another video. And if you want to see what I'm doing today, stay tuned. Welcome back, t shirtpreneurs big timers, old timers. And if this is your first time watching my videos, welcome, first timer. As you guys know, your girl's really not into HTV like talking about since I have um, recently gotten into DTF, but I do still recommend you starting out your business using HTV. So if you have never printed t-shirts before, I do recommend starting out with HTV. One reason is because no matter what type of printing you're gonna be doing, if you're gonna be printing t-shirts, you need to start with your designs first. Starting out with vinyl, you're doing like basic designs and stuff like that, mostly like one, maybe two color designs in the beginning. And then you can work your way on up to more detailed designs. When you first start out, usually you're not doing too many shirts at one time. So HTV gives you the option to do one. You know, if you're doing a hundred shirts, you don't really want to do HTV. And for those of y'all who are not trying to learn how to design or don't want to have to create your own designs and i feel like creative fabrica is one of the best sites going so if you use my link down below you can get access to all of their thousands of designs and more designs being added every single day and you also get it at an awesome price so make sure you use my link down below and we're gonna get back to this video all right so i'm i'm gonna just go back in here and i'm just gonna show y'all again because your girl didn't have a mic on earlier. I'm just gonna show y'all and talk about it a little bit more. All right, so right here, we got two different HTVs. We have the yellow UV, which is gonna turn into yellow in the sun. But as I was saying earlier in the video, when the mic wasn't on, the sun is not out today because it actually rained just a few moments ago. It just got done raining. And then we got the rainbow right here. It's rainbow and hopefully y'all can see the details right there. Yeah, so we are gonna do a design, maybe using both of them together or maybe a couple of separate designs, but that's what we gonna do. All right, all right. I created two very simple designs real quick and I'm gonna be using my older Roland GX24 to cut the designs out. It's two sides to this HTV. You can see right here by that gloss, this is the shiny side and this is the dull side. You want to make sure that you are printing on the dull side. So I'm gonna go ahead, load it into my cutter. Let me move on this side because I am right-handed, so. All right, that's the first one. Now we're gonna go with the second one. All right, y'all, for this holographic vinyl, I have had issues trying to cut holographic vinyl before, but um, the directions are on Stahl's website, so I'm gonna leave links below for this HTV and the instructions if y'all are interested so y'all can go check that out. And depending on what cutter, I would just tell y'all the cut settings for the cutter, but most people don't have my cutter. So, you know, it's kind of um, a waste of space on the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to cut it out and hopefully everything comes out good. And don't forget to mirror your image. It looked like it came out good. I'm, it looked like it's coming out good. All 
all right i don't know if y'all can see it on there but it did it cut it out correctly so we're gonna go ahead and weed it All right, so here is design number one, and we're going to go ahead and cut it out. Vinyl actually has sticky backing, which I don't really care for too much, but... All right, so that's the first design right here. That's the sun. Oh, and that, that weaves very, very easily. All right. And that's the unicorn design right there. So we got our two designs right here. And we have our two shirts right here. So we're going to put the sun on this one. And we are going to put the unicorn on that one. All right. So we got the heat press already ready to go. I'm actually just going to swing it. And the temperature for this says... I think it was 305 for 10 to 12 seconds. So I actually have it on 300 because I just set it to ultra weed and we're going to go with that. So I'm going to go ahead, place the shirt down and I'm going to grab my lint roller real quick. Black attracts a lot of uh, little particles. So just be safe with that and we are going to fold it in half by his sunglasses and we're going to place it about three fingers down I have the teflon cover on here so we're going to go ahead we're going to press this thing for 12 seconds all right and we're going to let it cool a little bit and then we're going to peel it warm. I'm going to go ahead and set the next one up. All right. About three fingers down. For this one, the temperature is, I think it's 330. So we're going to have to let the heat press heat up so that everything will work out correctly. Yeah, I kind of messed up on the instructions. Um, it's kind of hard to keep up with it because I am actually doing two at once. This was actually supposed to be hot peel. It would be nice if they put like a little um, instruction thing in there where you don't have to look it up online that that would just be a, be convenient so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna press it and then I'm gonna go ahead and peel it because I did not follow the instructions as should have been so okay we're gonna just reheat it and it says to peel hot so we have it right here and that's what it's looking like right there. I'm going to try to, uh, the sun is trying to come out. So I'm going to try to get a shot of it with the color changing for y'all. Hopefully I can make that happen. We're going to see. The rainbow HTV, the temperature is going to be 320 for 10 to 15 seconds. All 
All right, the heat press is ready and I just put it on, I think it was fashion film, the setting for fashion film, which only takes five seconds. So I'm gonna just count it down and I'll bleep, I'll uh, mute out the beep so that y'all don't have to listen to it beep the whole time. All right, and this one is a cold peel. So we're gonna let it cool off and then I'm gonna come back and peel it and let y'all check it out. All right, it's not quite cold, but we are gonna try it and see cause it has cooled off pretty much. All right, so this is what it's looking like. And y'all see it is very glossy and it looks really nice. And both, both of these shirts I did for Bella, she's gonna really love them. I'm trying to get a shot of this other shirt changing colors. And, and I'll throw it in for y'all so y'all can check it out. But I appreciate y'all watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're watching and you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you're interested in any of the products that I use, check down below this video for the links and I will see you guys in another video. But until then, be blessed. All right, I'm outside. I'm just sitting in my car and I'm gonna let you, like I got the shirts out here, but I made sure to not let it hit the sunlight just yet. And I'm sorry, it's a little bit loud out here, but I do want y'all to check this out. Y'all see that? That thing is shining. I think this is gonna be a popular, I think that's gonna be very popular. I'm gonna have to get some of that in stock here for my customers. All right, so we're gonna try this UV thing. Let's see, all right. I don't know if it's going to change. Oh, it's changing, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's changing. Y'all see it? I don't know if y'all saw it, but it did change colors. It did change colors, y'all. I don't know if it's going to get any brighter than that, but as y'all can see, it did change colors. Y'all see that? Maybe when the sun is brighter, it'll do better, but hopefully y'all can see, but it, it did change colors. That's pretty cool. This is my first time dealing with UV, with UV right there. So, like I said earlier, I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check the links down below for these products. I'll leave the links down there for you. Uh, check my Created Fabrica link and also my Square link if you don't have a way to accept credit cards if you sign up using my link we can both get one thousand dollars worth of free processing if you go ahead and um click on that link down below so i appreciate y'all watching and supporting and i'm gonna get back to regularly making videos soon i just have had so much going on y'all but i appreciate y'all once again and i'll see y'all in another video but until then be blessed